Hola amigos, and welcome to what probably is the final video of the Flower Collectors. When we last left off, well, we've discovered plenty of cl clues. Chapter 9, Clash. We're gonna be rocking this Casbah. Jorge, you there? I'm in the repair shop. There are people outside. Can uh -oh. you spot them for me? What's she talking about? Okay, got my cl camera. Oh. Diego. up to something. Mm -hmm. Oh. Remember to take a photo. Is that houseman? Yep. What are you two talking about? Now, listen. I think houseman is closer to the Polythea than we thought. Mm -hmm. Just tell me when it's safe to run back. Try to make it across the plaza to the church. And get inside from there. Same thing as they're both Go going the there. Tree. No way, they'll see me. Oh, damn it, Diego came up. the truth. I don't see any other place. Go to the tree. No way, nope. you'll see me. There's Diego. I mean, at least this isn't time. Go to the tree. No way. Okay. There we go. 
Everyone's still looking there. The pillar. No way, they'll see me. Yep. Well, I'm glad they can't see in all this fog. The pillar. No way, they'll see me. The pillar. No way, they'll see me. Okay. Any other place you could hide at? Oh, you're sneaking behind that officer. Okay. I'm guessing, yeah, the wall's gonna be next. The wall at the cafe. Start turning around. You can approach the church now. Hey, I've reached the church. Nobody here, it seems. That's not good. I'll be right up. Hmm. None of this is good. Not that we expect any of this to be good, you know, considering. Waiting's always the hardest part, but hey, at least the roof's fixed. I'm glad you're safe. Yep. Diego, you uh, certainly pick interesting times to come by. Yeah. Hey, let's cut the bullshit. You know why I'm here. The uh, murder. Where's your friend? Young woman. Asks around a lot. Carries a bag. Like that one, actually. Where is she? No, she's not here. She's not here. Yeah? Awfully convenient for her to disappear yet leave all her things. Well, maybe I'll just hang around. You wouldn't mind, would you? What happened? People are trading order for chaos. That's what's happening. They forget what brought us here. And now they want to throw it all away. I saw you talking to that politician. Mm -hmm. With Franco gone and the elections on the horizon after over 40 years, we need someone who can deal with change. Houseman doesn't want to change anything. Nope. He's part of the same old routine. Yep. And look where it took us. People can't be trusted to govern themselves. <sighs> and the artists? Poets? Why repress all these people? Yeah. They lead the masses into decadence. We did what had to be done for the good of Spain. Please, old friend, you're picking the wrong side. Did he send you? Let's just say you've been in our sights for some time now. You should hear him out. Not sure I want to talk to the man who killed a former colleague. Mm -hmm. I see. Well...
I'm the one who shot the traitor. What? You shot a fellow officer and you... He was going to put all that dirt on us. Dirt? People were killed. Yeah. And we are responsible. Some of them were barely adults. Don't lecture me on our work. They were homosexuals, deviants, morally corrupt. People should be free to live life however they want. When the clergy can't pray it away, the baton is there to do the job. This is insanity. It has to end. What was that? You're getting jumpy, Diego. I need to get my gun. What do you think you're doing? Come back out. We're not done. I'm running out of time. Call your friend. You really should have changed the frequencies. Shit. Tell her to come over. And no tricks. What's your so plan? What's your plan? Shoot both of us? Don't be ridiculous. We can discuss your case tomorrow night, after the election. As for her, you know what needs to happen. One more body to hide. What's your insurance? <laughs> With Hausman in office, I will climb the ranks in the Polythea, and I... How can you be so foolish? Mm -hmm. With Hausman in office, your part is finished. Yep. All he needs is a fall guy for the murders, and the whole thing gets buried. You don't know anything. We already have an agreement. You have nothing. An empty promise. No proof. Only blood on your hands. Yep. That's enough! Shut up! Melinda. You there? Where is she? What happened after my accident? Accident? That's what you're telling yourself now? Of course we went after the punks who attacked you in the harbor. It's about respect. So you killed them too? Who cares? I, I, we roughed them up. We made them pay for what they did to you. Call her again. You're running out of time. Melinda, come back. How can you be fine with all this? Murdering innocents! Who do you think you are? Look at yourself. You've gone soft. You're a broken man. I won't take lectures from someone as callous as you. While the church is on our side, I know we're in the right. They trust us to keep the country on a path of tradition and morals. That's how you keep the people united. More excuses. All I see is madmen drunk on power. Don't kid yourself. This is the way it has to be. Now call her. How does he look? He's out. Should give us enough breathing room to finish up. I've got an hour to get this to the paper. Let's go. Okay. Not sure which one of us changed. Were you always like this? Mark. My words. Democracy. It's never meant to last. One day. 
the time will come for us to... We'll see about that. I think I should have shot him. Help me get these sorted. Okay. Diego admitted to killing them all. I can't believe Diego is the one who did it. Mm. Both him and Houseman are responsible, and they will yep. both pay the price. Let's park the events. Um, let's see, how was the Marvel kill? I need to think. Okay. I can't believe both him and they will both. I can't believe both him oh. and they will both. How was the mole killed with a gun? I guess. That doesn't mean. No, Hausman said someone to kill him. Hausman knew that it was too risky to kill the mole himself. Yep. So he went looking for someone in the policia who would be willing to play the role of an assassin. Mm-hmm. Why was the moles killed? Running for office. I should rethink this. Okay. Oh. Houseman realized that if the public knew about his past, he would never get elected. So mm -hmm. he arranged to cover up his past. And let's spark the events. Well, the flower collectors. All of us are complicit. If we had refused orders, none of this would have happened. It is true that you did some horrible things, but that's not the reason why the mole was killed. Hmm. Houseman wanted to stay in power, and so he ran for office. In yep. a way, it's that simple. I think that's it. Okay, I'm off. Do you know someone you can call about this guy? Someone you can trust? I have an old friend who's a doctor. He can take care of Diego until tomorrow. Once you blow the lid on this thing, we'll see who in the Polithea we can trust. Sounds good. See you later. Good luck. Finally, it's over. Chapter 10, Closure. Hopefully it is over. A few days later, well, that's good. Hey, old man, come on. <laughs> oh, outside. Some old acquaintances are making an appearance. Oh. Nothing as exciting as last week, though. I'm glad for that. <laughs> I sure hope not. Let's have a look. Grab a binox. I how everyone is doing. Yep. Well, let's start over here. Garland's celebrating the closing of the cabaret. Hmm. Houseman's money has run dry. Yep. Selling out her patrons probably wasn't what she had in mind. Nope. Must feel good to be done with it. What's going on with those two? Yeah. Oh, there she is. Looks like they're leaving. Now that the cabaret is closing. Makes sense. I'm so relieved it turned out well for them. Yeah, me too. You 
the Sabi I was reading the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. No sign of Aldo. Oh. Hey! Mechanics are back. Ah, the mechanics are back. Thank God. I thought they'd end up gone as well. Looks like they read your article. Mm. Well, I didn't specifically mention them. <laughs> there are plenty of other bad people who might be looking for them. Yeah. They helped. And nobody else needs to know their names. Yep. Approaching Aldo, it looks like. Aldo's still being harassed by the policia. Hopefully, yeah. it won't be as bad as before. Yeah. Seems relieved. Yeah. It bugs me that we will never know the extent of his involvement. Mm. At least he's back to helping Aldo. That's something. <laughs> Let's hope he does a proper job of it in the future. Yeah. Up oh, there's Donna. Anna. She's still alone. You can call her any time, you know. Yeah. Maybe I will. <laughs> I think that was all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we didn't get to the very end of uh, Lola's story, unfortunately. I guess that's it. Yeah, uh, I guess so. Listen, uh, I know we had some rough patches. Yeah. Well, I'd say we had some decent ones too. Yeah. I guess we did. Look. And now that we're done, you don't have to hang around. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hmm? You saying I bought that easel for nothing? Wait. What? Didn't think I'd just leave without offering a thank you gift, did you? I'll come by and check on your progress. <laughs> Better have a nice painting ready for me when Christmas comes around. <laughs> well, that's. Uh... Oh. Thank you, Mel. After Franco's death, the first general election was held in 1977. In 1981, a coup d'etat was carried out by the Guardia Civil, taking Congress hostage during its vote for a new prime minister. Mm. Juan Carlos I, king announced by Franco himself, held a televised speech denouncing the coup attempt and siding with the democratic government. Yay! The coup lost its legitimacy and failed, marking the end of Spain's turbulent road to democracy. Well, that's good. Of course, that's mostly history. <laughs> Mystery solver, rookie, finish the game, all chapters. Yeah. Mi Puimi Games. Uh, very fun game. Very interesting. Um. There's definitely some stuff that um, I didn't do, obviously, uh, and I mean, there's things you can do to change other things if you pass or fail various different things, so um, 
there's a little bit of replayability to this. Um, like if you sell people out or not. Um, oh, Hello and the waiter. It's always a good picture. But no, very, very nice game. Uh, I kind of like the whole first person, um, you know, puzzle type aspect of it uh, and restricting you to essentially um, your apartment and your uh, uh, balcony uh, certainly made it a, uh, you know, a good, fascinating kind of um, situation. Because you're not always in the best position. You just have to kind of make do with what you got. Um, I do like the uh, the putting together the um, uh, you know the clues and stuff. And uh, yes, yeah, the rat mechanics and more of Lola and the waiter. Yay! Linda, uh, Donna Ana, Juanito, and Lara are all voiced by Beatrice Romley and Diego El Blanco, an officer, as by John Garcia and Eric up there, voice Torre. But yeah, uh, very, very fun game. Uh, glad I decided to uh, play it. Uh, relatively short, only about three hours, which, um, you know, it fits. Um, but yeah, it was definitely enjoyable to do something a little, uh, a little quieter, a little uh, calmer in the night and the like, but, excuse me, do know that next video, well, next Sunday fun day is going to be a, a little more action-packed, uh, that'll be interesting, um, but yeah, this was definitely a fun game, uh, it came out, uh, just last year, like, early last year, so this is only about a year old, um, Uh oh, the mechanics are behind bars. That would probably be an event that would happen if you decided not to, you know, help them repair their scooter. Um. Oh, very cool. Disability counseling by uh, My Ability Social Enterprise uh, GBMH and Wheelchair Consultant. Um. Yeah, uh, that's a. Uh, you know, it's, it's one thing to put your protagonist in a wheelchair, it's another thing to make it seem, uh, realistic, um, and, uh, yeah, uh, very kind of cool having a, uh, um, uh, you know, a protagonist who is wheelchair bound, um, It uh, not only, you know, helps out the game mechanics, like why you can't leave your apartment, um, but also it plays into sort of his history, at, you know, based off of uh, his previous job, which is why he's in this position, and uh, why he gets up to the stuff he does. So, yeah, I mean... Talking as an abled person, I'm not the best person to uh, ask. Interested in our next game? Ooh, yeah, I definitely am. See you up there. Interesting. Well. Mipumi, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, Mipumi Games, but you made a very, very good game here. Thank you very much, and when we come back, something different. Thank you, and have a good one.